Welcome to this tutorial on compositing within Beyond Typicals. My name is Sam Lytle, and in this tutorial, we're going to go through all the steps necessary to go from your site photos all the way to a rendered composite image out of Beyond Typicals. The first step is acquiring the perfect photo. The foundation of any great composite is the base photo, so let's explore the options. First is street side photography. Venture out with your camera, ensuring you adhere to local regulations and safety guidelines. Look for angles that offer a comprehensive view of your project area. The next is Street View Utilization. You can leverage platforms like Google Street View for readily available street level imagery. This is particularly useful for inaccessible locations or preliminary planning phases. The next option is to use Google Earth. For wide area perspectives, including top down or oblique views, Google Earth can be an invaluable resource. The next option is aerial photography. You can utilize aerials of your project for top down views and photo composites. And then the final option is to use drone photography. Drones can offer precision and flexibility in capturing the perfect shot from various angles and elevations. Step two, precision photo editing. Transform your photo into the perfect canvas for your composite. Object removal techniques, magic eraser. Quickly remove unwanted elements from your photo with tools like Photoshop's magic eraser or even the Google Pixel phone. Online editing platforms. Use platforms like Canva or PicMonkey for accessible straightforward editing options. Generative fill in Photoshop. For complex scenes, Photoshop's context-aware fill can intelligently remove and replace objects, blending the background seamlessly. Alternative tools. Explore other software options that offer robust editing capabilities tailored to your needs. Foreground element management. This critical step ensures your 3D objects integrate flawlessly with the photo. Use advanced selection tools to isolate elements that will appear in front of your 3D models. Apply inverse selection to remove background elements, leaving your foreground subjects intact. Consult number eight in this series for an in-depth walkthrough walk on managing foreground elements. Step three, constructing your project in Beyond Typicals. Initial modeling. Begin by building a model that mirrors the existing conditions captured in your photo. This serves as the baseline for your composite. Expansion and alternatives. Move beyond the initial model to create alternative designs or project phases, enhancing the visualization of your project's potential impacts. Learning resources. Visit beyondcad.com slash tutorials for comprehensive guides and tips on maximizing Beyond Typicals for your projects. Step four, integrating photos into Beyond Typicals. Correctly assign your background and foreground settings to ensure a seamless blend between your photo and the 3D model. Organize your project by naming imported images, aiding in navigation and edits. Step five, mastering camera matching. Art of matching. Adjusting your model to fit the perspective and scale of your photo is both an art and a technical skill. Opacity and field view adjustments. Fine tune the match by manipulating the background's image opacity and experimenting with field of view settings that you'll notice in the bottom left of your screen. Zoom and camera controls. Achieve precision by zooming into the model appropriately and utilizing the camera controls for minor adjustments. Step six, shadow matching for realism. Utilize Beyond Typical's Environment tab to align the sun's direction and intensity with those in your photo. Enhance realism by adding and adjusting 3D objects to cast shadows that match those in the photograph. A recent software update allows for the visibility of shadow casting objects to be toggled, maintaining shadow integrity while keeping the visual focus on your project. Step 7. Fine Tuning for Perfection Adjust traffic volumes, vehicle visibility, and stationary assets to capture the essence of your project's impact on the area. Implement static assets or manipulate traffic settings to prepare your scene for rendering, ensuring your every element aligns with your vision. Step eight, rendering your vision. Begin with low resolution test renders to assess and refine your composite. Progress to high resolution full length renders as your composition nears perfection. For video renders, patience is crucial. Consider rendering longer segments to capture the best possible sequence for your project. This includes getting the correct traffic for your video. Step nine, post-processing excellence. Use photo editing software to adjust final image settings, enhancing the visual impact of your composite. Add text and other graphical elements to convey additional information or branding. For video composites, apply editing techniques like wipe animations to effectively demonstrate before and after scenarios or alternative project phases. Thank you for watching this tutorial. For more information about Beyond Typicals and photo compositing, visit beyondcad.com slash beyondtypicals or beyondcad.com slash photo-compositing.